Well, moving on now, this time of the year can be a great time for golfing and also a great time for outdoor music. Yeah, organizers in Seward are gearing up for their second annual 5th Street Summer Music Series. Joining us now with more on that is Allison Cook and Julia Marble with the Seward Arts Council. Thank you both for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah, good, to be here. good morning. So second annual, tell us a little bit yes. about the event. Yeah, so we started this Fifth Street Summer Music Series last year, um, and we had a great response from the community, so we decided to do it again this year. Mm -hmm. So um, we're with the Seward Arts Council, and uh, we have three dates go coming up this okay. year. The first one is on Saturday, June 8th, um, and the Raw Nerve's gonna be playing from 5 to 8 p.m., so it'll be a good time. Where does this happen? This happens in Seward at our community band shell, which is just right off the square. Um, it's got tons of outdoor seating. It's a beautiful outdoor stage. We'll have the street blocked off, so we'll have like food trucks, snow cones, mm -hmm. some adult beverages, some other vendors. We have some carnival games and things like that. So it'll be a really family friendly event, which we're excited about. Yeah. That is cool. Ron Herve. Yeah, is the Ron that, Herve. Is that the one that's made up of dentists? Yes. 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 I dentists. Think. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's love, right. They're, they're just, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, orthodontists for our kids. I believe right. he's exactly. in the group. <laughs> yes, Dr. Shocker, yes. we got to yes. give him a shout out. Uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Julia, what does this mean to the community to have this going on in Seward? Yeah, one exciting thing is that we were just certified as a creative district with the state. And when we sent out a poll to the community asking what they valued the most, they rated the summer music series as their number one choice. So I think what that tells us is it really is an opportunity for people not to have to go very far to experience a wonderful event. So we had families come with their kids. We tried to make it um, very open and family friendly. Um, and so it's like all people from all generations were able to come and celebrate music, be outside, um, enjoy a summer evening. Um, and so it's something that we really want to make sustainable and part mm -hmm. of the Seward summer scene every year. Yeah. Very smart to do when you have that great band shell there. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, again, let's go over the details yeah. when the first one's happening and then what's coming up then in the future. Yep. So June 8th is the first one. July 13th um, is B Street Band. And then August 3rd is going to be um, Sunset Lounge Trio, which is a band from Seward. So um, we'll have different food trucks, different um, events or kind of like pop-ups coming with those. So mm -hmm. each event is a little bit different um, in the summer music series, different attractions that people can see on the street. So we'll have the street closed off each time so that it's kind of family friendly. People can walk and hang out and uh, just have a good time. That's what we're really looking for is just something to utilize the space and be intergenerational really so and we're yeah. both moms of young children and so a lot of events start later like at 7 30 or 8 o'clock and that's when we're putting kids to bed <laughs> right. so we're like exactly. how can we create something where we can also like come with our kids and they can experience live music in their community as yeah. well yeah. so that was like also the idea behind having the carnival games we're going to have capital city carnival um bringing they have 12 different games that are going to be set up kids can win prizes and um, have fun as well. Mm -hmm. And you have great. sponsors helping with all yes, this. Yes, yeah, we do have a great uh, number of corporate sponsors. So um, we have uh, Jones Bank, which is in Seward, mm -hmm. Jones Group, Aloe, of course, Cattle Bank, Seward and Lichty, Aspire, and then um, Seward County Gives, which just wrapped up at the beginning of May. Um, and then obviously the Seward Arts Council, we are the ones that are putting on the program. And then of course, it's in our certified creative district. So okay. um, we got a lot of support from the community for last year's event. So we're hoping that the community comes out again this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit bigger and better than last year. So <laughs> we're really excited. We got to add a lot more fun things like on the street for this year. So uh, it's it'll be a good evening in Seward. Yeah. Good. Good. All right, well, thank you both for coming in. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you guys. All right.